Hello YouTube, the method I'm going to show you is called the smiley face method. It's a method for adding and subtracting any fractions, whether it be numerical fractions, algebraic fractions, you name it, fractions of thirds, whatever you want. It's called the smiley face method because the way we add fractions is by using a smiley face. So if we make up a fraction 7 over 8, add 2 over 3. Okay? Now the type of smiley face we're going to use, you may or may not have used it when you're typing or texting to your friends. It's the smiley face that looks like the eyes are, say, I don't know, a bit together and crossed. Like squinty eye smiley face. So, I don't know, if you imagine this guy maybe quite angry but still smiling, I don't know. If you have it on your keypad, you're probably pressing capital X, capital D maybe. I know you've seen it before. So, we put this smile onto our fraction, like that. Can you see it? Now what we do, just like the banana method, is every time we go on a line, we multiply. So we put it in the corresponding position to the 7, okay? So that goes to our 21. The next one that we do is going to be our 8 times 2. Let's do it in a different colour so you can see what's going on. 8 times 2 is 16. And that goes in the position corresponding to the 2. That's where that comes from. Now finally... We have to do the smile. Very important, and you'll be smiling at the end when you've done this method too, so it fits in. You put your divide line of a fraction, and then your smile is 8 times by 3. 8 times by 3 is 24. Okay? Now you think, well, we've got a gap here. So what's going to go here? Well, you look below, and you see it was a plus. So you put a plus sign. Okay, if it was a takeaway, you'd put a takeaway sign. Now you're going to do 21 plus 16, which is 37, over 24. That's a top heavy fraction. So, whilst we're on this topic, why not I show you how to change it? So, you think of your 24 times table, it would be going 24, 48, 37. You've taken out one lot of 24. And you've got however many left to get up to 37. So if you do 24 up to 37, you need another 13 more. So you need another 13 24ths. Okay? Or 37 take away 24. Hope that one makes sense. Let's have a look at another fraction. Let's try to take away this time. And see what happens here. So, let's have a go at, um, I don't know, 9 over 10. Take away um, 2 over 3. Okay. So, we do a smiley face. Draw it on. There it is. And we think, okay, first one is going to be 9 times 3. 9 times by 3 is 27. The next one is going to be 10 times 2. 10 times 2 is 20. And the smile is going to be 10 times 3, which is 30. Now this is the important bit. We look at what sign we had. Can you see it was a takeaway? So we use a takeaway. 27, takeaway 20 is 7. So your answer is 7 over 30. Okay? So that's how you do a takeaway. I'll show you one more numerical one, and then we'll look at a bit of algebra, I reckon. Anything you can do with numbers, you can do with algebra. So, one more numerical one. I'll do one where there is a quicker way. Now, obviously, there's always quicker ways to do things. So just because I show you one way, doesn't mean another way you might know is wrong. Both ways work. There is a shortcut to do this one. But let's do a smiley face and then we have to just simplify at the end. 
Okay, 2 times 10, 20. 5 times 1, 5. 5 times 10, 50. It's a plus. So we use a plus. Definitely did not want to rub that out. So it's 25 over 50. Okay. Now, your question will probably ask it you for a simplified form. However, 25 over 50 is not simplified. What you need to do is try and cancel down. And on this one, you could divide by 5, divide by 5 on the top and bottom. If you do something to the top, you do it to the bottom of a fraction as well to keep it the same. But we can actually just divide by 25. 25 out of 50 is a half. Okay. So with the smiley face method, be prepared to simplify your answer at the end. Okay, it's very important. Let's get on to some harder stuff. Let's get on to algebra. So if we make one up, if we say make up, um, oh, don't want to go too hard straight away. Um, 2a over b plus um, 3ab over c. Just totally made up, because this will work with any fractions. Draw on our smiley face. 2a times c is our first one. Okay, so that's 2ac. b times 3ab, 3ab squared. b times c, bc. It was an addition, so we put an add there. Okay. Now this one can't be simplified much more than that. What you what, what you could do if you wanted to show off is say, well, guess what? That's a, that's a. So what you can do is you can factorise out an a, and have two c plus three b squared. If you're not sure what I'm doing here, check out my other vid my other video on factorising into a single bracket. Okay, that's your answer. It can't be simplified any more than that. But I'm going to try and make one up now that can be simplified some more. Okay, so let's erase this one and look at one more example. One more horrible one. Okay, so let's go for um, A over xy b x plus y over um, x a and I want to make sure this simplifies I'm going to have to do one more thing here I'm afraid I'm going to have to change that b to an a sorry if you're writing that down you already have to mess up your work please accept my apology so we've drawn our smiley face the first one that we do is a times xa you have to be good at algebra for these ones so we've got a squared and x multiplied together x a squared the next one that we do is going to be let's do it in green xy times a x plus y okay told you this one was going to be hard but all we can do is we can write it as a x y and keep the x plus y it's just just imagine it as one thing this is one thing prefer the yellow highlighter this is one thing here there's still one thing there okay if you really want you could call it a new letter say w but I don't want to confuse you too much right now. Okay, on the bottom, we're going to have xy times xa. We're going to have x squared yA. Okay, now, because it's an addition here, it's going to be an add there. I've tried to make it so that this is going to cancel out now. Now, imagine that this thing like we've talked about is just one thing. We're going to try and do something quite complex.
numerator, we can see what we've got in common. We've got in common an x, and we've got in common an a, just one a. So we can take out ax, or xa, however you want to write it. Inside our bracket, there has to be another a now, because we need a squared when we multiply out. And there's going to be plus y, and remember our one thing, x plus y. And that's all over. Let's put this in a nicer order. A x squared y. Okay, so you might be thinking, what's going on? Why has he done that? Well, look, we're multiplying by a on the top, then we're dividing by a. We're multiplying by x on the top, then we're dividing by another x. But we're still going to have this x left on the bottom because that was x times x. So our final answer is going to be we can also expand this out if we want. A plus xy, which I got by doing y times x, plus y squared over xy. Now, I've just thrown that in to show you what complicated things we can do with a simple method of a nice little smiley face. I hope you're smiling thinking, wow, look at that question that we've just done because I tell you what surely that's quite quite complicated algebra you've got to agree now okay thanks for watching hope it helps hope it makes you understand how to add fractions a little better this is kind of a trick um, there are reasons why it works because it's all about making a common denominator it's a little trick for doing that if you will have any questions about why this works so well, you can always give me a shout and I will explain. If you just like the technique to get your marks, there it is for you. Thanks, guys.